and we're all VC. This is my first ever video. My name's Howard. Um, what I'm going to do now is to show you my well, part part of my CD collection. I'll try and keep it short and sweet as I can. Okay, hopefully you might enjoy it. If you don't, let me know. Okay, thank you. So, I'll start with Big Country, Great States. It's got all the classics on it. Wonderland and the Big Country. Come check these guys out. Check them out. All right, Celtic Rock. Really good. It's good stuff. Secondly, we have the Maclad. It's a collection of Live at Leeds and the album The Beer Necessities. If you like, you've got a good sense of humour, you like punk milk, really good stuff. Check them out. And then we have Brainstorm, Liquid Monster. This is the Digipack version, which comes with a little Nice little booklet. It also comes with a bonus DVD live in the studio, just like a studio report thing. Great album, especially all those words. Great album. If you like some German power metal. Next, we've got Striper 7, which is basically Striper's greatest hits. Great songs like Soldiers Under Command, Corn On You, Free, and God We Trust. It's just a plain, straightforward CD. So, fortunately, the CD's broke, so I'll have to get some more cases for it. Next, we've got Bonfire, Strike 10. On Z Records. Got some great songs there, like On the Blue Skies, Down to Atlanta, Take Me by the Hand, Damn You. If you like fireworks, you like this album. Great stuff. Next, we've got the first Bad English album. If you like AOR, if you like Journey, you like this album. Just a plain, boring CD inside. Next, got the first Crown of Thorns album, which is an AOR classic, featuring Jean Beauvoir, of course. It's got some great songs, Hike It Up, Dying For Love, Standing On The Corner For You. It's just a yellow disc from Now And Then Music. Great album. Next, we've got Kiss, The Best of Volume 2. Just like the stuff from Creatures of the Night onwards up until like in the shared. So it's 82 from until 89. It's got stuff like I Love It Loud on it, Tears of Falling, Crazy Crazy Night, Reason to Live. It's one of them 20th century masters. Good album. I feel like Kiss. <coughs> Next. We've got Danish, uh, sorry, Dutch band Sinatra. This is their first album, Documentary Part 1. It's okay, it's not too bad. I think it got pretty cheap off Amazon a few years ago. I think they supported Dave Lee Roth at Amazon Audio in 88. Nice little pink CD disc. Next, what colour? Next, oh, Culture Killed the Native by Victory. It's one of my favourite albums of all time. It's got some great songs like More and More, Never Satisfied, Always the Same, So They Run. It's an original copy from 89. This is the first album with Fernando, what his name was. Fernando Garcia. Sounds good. Yeah. Great album. Get it pretty cheap on Amazon. Next, got a Bow Wow with V or 5. This is when the 
moved to the UK. They had Neil Murray on bass. It's an original copy from 87. Great songs like Don't Tell Me Lies. Brilliant power ballad, Cry No More. And Don't Leave Me Now, that's a great song as well. Next, got Britney Fox, Bite Down Hard. This is the first album they did after Dizzy Dean Davidson left. We sing as Tommy Paris. Some great songs like Six Guns Loader, Louder, Up My Way. This is the original copy from 1991. Next, we've got Heat, Freedom Rock, which is their second album. This is the special two disc version, which came with Freedom Rock. And also it's got a copy of the first album as well of it. So, great Swedish AOR, great albums. Next, we've got High in Fire, a bit of Danish power metal. It's like a little digipack thing, a little booklet, and there's a disc. Great songs like Dragon Art, Steel Invaders. If you like power metal, you like that. Next, we've got Greatest Ever, Electric 80s, triple disc, got stuff like ABC on it, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Fox Seagulls. If you like, if you're old enough to remember the 80s, like yourself, like most of the songs there. Next, got Simple Plan, first album. And there's a disc. Unfortunately, I've not listened to it yet, so I can't really see if it's any good or not. But if you like pop punk, I'm sure you'll probably like it. Next, got Therapy and Trouble Grub. Some great songs there, like Trigger Inside, Scream Anger. It's very cheap off Music, Mag uh, uh, Music Magpie. Two CDs for £2.25, so £1.12 each. Three pieces packaging. That's an original copy from 1994. Next, got the Ultimate Collection, the 80s. Usual stuff on it, Wham. Dexys Midnight Runners, Nick Kershaw. Can't really say too much about it. If you like the 80s music, you'll probably enjoy this compilation. Five CDs. With about £4, I think it was. Great stuff. Next, we've got Bowling for Soup. Drunk Enough to Dance. It's got their big out on it. Girl, the girl all the guys want. Girl all the guys want. Apart from that, no, I didn't really enjoy it that much. It's back again, I'll get from Music Mag for two for two for twenty five. Two pound, yeah, two for two twenty five. And the CD stuck. But we'll probably listen to it again. Probably might enjoy it a bit more then. Next, got the greatest love triple CD of ballads. Got George Michael on it. Boy Restifan, The Hollies, Moody Blues, I like ballads from the 60s right up to the 80s and 90s. It's alright. I'm a bit of a sucker for a good ballad, especially power ballads. There's quite a few on there. I can call you love by Pete Satera, great stuff. Next, we've got Let's Get the Party Started, another cheap triple CD party hits. It's like Rick Astley on it. Pink, Britney Spears, All and Oats, Adamant. Yeah, it's, it's alright, just put it on in the car, got a long journey, get you entertained enough. You know most of the songs. Next, got Duran Duran's Greatest Hits. Got all the usual suspects in it, the Reflex, View to a Kill, Union of the State, Wild Boys. When I was growing up in the 80s, I was a big fan of Duran Duran. Greatest Hits. CD. Can't really say too much about it. If you like Duran Duran, get this, and this is pretty cheap as well. Music Magpie, Pound, 35, I think so. Next, Michael Jackson's Greatest Hits. History, it's got all the big hits in it, Thriller, 
go is mine, bad. Got me pound from the charity shop. Me and Bo, I'm not sure if we're supposed to listen to them or not. Anymore, are we? Like a gold disc inside it of Michael Jackson. Next, Pretty Maids, Future World, great album. Spears from Nordic Rock, it's got some really good hard rock songs on it. Right, Love Games, Rodeo, Cat, never heard this album. I think she can get it pretty cheap. It's a great hard rock album from Denmark, great stuff. Next, we've got Thunder behind closed doors. It's not as good as the first two albums, but it's alright, it's not too bad. Like I say, it's only cost a pound from the charity shop. Got a picture disc. One of the best songs on here is River of Pain. Good album. Next, we've got Ice Earth, The Glorious Burden. Two disc edition, in a little slip case, lyric book, it's two CDs, one's got the album on it, one's got three bonus tracks, Gettysburg, 1863, it's been a while since I've played this album so I can't really remember what it's like, but I'll have to revisit this album again. And finally, We've got the first Shotgun Symphony album. And now and then, this is now and then, four. Great hard rock. Better, probably better than the second album in the line of fire, which we've also got. I'll show it around later. And for some reason, got off in the disc. It's still. Best song. What happens? to love and running. Great album if you like it. Right, that's the first part. I'm sure there'll be loads of parts left. So I hope you enjoy this video. Comment below. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Okay, bye.